Hi Cancer, welcome to your November reading. In this reading we're going to ask the cards, are they cheating on you? Are they cheating on you? So this is going to be for people who are romantically involved with someone. If you are concerned and you have doubts if the person that you are with is being unfaithful, if they are cheating on you, then this reading is going to be for you. That's going to be the question we're going to ask the cards. So let's see what the answer is. Again, this is if you are romantically involved with someone and you have um, doubts and questions in your mind whether this person is being faithful to you, then this reading is for you. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck and let's get started, Cancer. First card out we have here is the Seven of Swords. So this is actually the card of cheating and the card of lying and the card of um, deceiving. So immediately that's the first card that comes out. So that is definitely a bad sign there. <laughs> Next card we have is the card of justice. So there might be some unfairness going on especially because it's coupled with the Seven of Swords. Um, I feel like somebody is not being fair to you. Somebody is... Um, just this card can also be a card of marriage and um, of the court. So if you are married, then it would also mean that in your marriage there might be some lying going on with the Seven of Swords or someone keeping information from you that that is um, important. Um, yeah, but in general, the Justice card is a card of fairness. So I feel like there's a bit of inequality going on here where um, two people are not treating the treating each other the same way. Um, there's not an equal give and take. Let me turn off this light because it's a little bright. There. Okay, the next card we have is the card of strength, which is a card of Leo. You might be dealing with a Leo Cancer. Next card we have is the Six of Pentacles. Again, this is what I was saying. This represents um, having an equal partnership where both of you are giving and taking equally. Um, it goes with the card of justice. So there is, um, I feel like there is a lack of information from one person. Like one person is being more honest than the other person is being honest. And that's where the, uh, the imbalance is coming from in these cards. Um, Someone is being more secretive and private and, um, yeah, deceiving. So the other person, I feel like, is more truthful and more honest. And, um, like I said, they're not, they're not receiving the same treatment back. Um, we have also the Nine of Pentacles, which is the card of being um, independent, of being self-sufficient, of being... Of being on your own. It's a card of also being single. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which is abundance and wealth. We have the Five of um, the Five of Wands, which represents arguments and disagreements, um, fighting, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So, for you, Cancer, I definitely feel like there could be a separation with this card, which is the card of being on your own. Um, I do feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, this can represent, and with the Five of Wands, this can represent joined um, resources or joined um, bank accounts or income, uh, money that you, you and your partner share equally together. Um, and with the Five of Wands, this represents arguing and disagreeing. So 
um, if there, this can be for some of you, this is not going to be for everyone, that there is going to be uh, arguments um, whether to, um, on how to separate your joined assets and resources um, equally. So um, that's something to look out for uh, as a, or to take as a warning for those who this applies to. Um, because the Nine of Pentacles means separating and being on your own. So the resources that you two own that have to be separated um, equally, there's going to be, with the Five of Swords, a lot of um, arguing here and disagreements. So that's what I see there. And the Nine of Pentacles represents, um, especially with the Strength card, I represents moving... Um, forward in a very slow pace but in a very consistent pace and um, strength card means um, not losing your sense of self-worth and sense of self-value especially with the seven of swords which means to be depreciated I feel like some you have been um, undervalued and underappreciated so the strength card is a message to keep your confidence high and, and to keep your self-worth at a high level and to move forward not, a, not at a fast pace but at a slow pace um, where you are not um, letting your emotions take over you and cloud your judgment but you're thinking practically and you're thinking um, carefully about what your next steps are going to be and you're taking precautions, especially um, with people that can um, try to use you and try to um, uh, take advantage of you with the Ten of Pentacles, take more from you than, than what they deserve or than what they um, rightfully own. So, yeah, that's what I see here in the cards, Cancer. Um, I hope this made sense to somebody out there. I hope it was useful to somebody out there. Um, if it was, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye, Cancer.